What is up everybody? In this tutorial, let's see how we can use this reference in this step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm mean, going to be using this reference images so we can use that into Dali number 2. So it's really important guys that you know what exactly you're looking for. If you don't know what Dali number 2, I'm going to explain to you before we continue of course, what exactly is Dali number 2. So Dali number 2 is a new AI system experience that can help us create some realistic images in art based on a description that we asked of a prompt into the open AI. And what is happening with this technology let me explain something much more easier for example let's say that you ask for the open AI to create an astronaut uh, playing basketball with some cats in space in a minimalistic style so talent number two is going to be seeing all the text description and all the elements going to be generating something like this and the most greeting part is going to be creating let's say more examples for example we have example number one example number two example number three and so on and on and on and this is how we can get started here into Dali number two in order to get started what you want to do is to go into sign up you want to provide an email you want to provide a passcode verify your user um, and that is how we can get started now how we can use some references images so we can start working into Dali number two it's really important guys that you know how exactly this Dali number two works in order to get started with some reference images. So in this tutorial, based into this tutorial, I'm going to be starting with just a plot images, which is actually this one. And I'm going to select like the most important part of my image like this. And I'm going to hit into crop. There we go. Now let's go into the very second part, which is actually editing our image. Now speaking about editing our image, I'm going to hit into edit my image. And as you can see, I do have different tools that can be helping me to edit my image. We have the selection, so we can select an image and I can drag a new generation frame. We do have the hand tool, so we can pan from the different mood board. We have the eraser tool, so we can erase whatever part that you don't want to see into your image. Then we have the add generation frame and the upload an image. Now, if I upload an image in here, let's say, for example, that I want to see this lady into this part and I want to see something else. I want to add, let's say, I want to merge my image and I want to create something else into a new reference images and add this into a generation frame. Because it's going to be really, really hard. But I'm going to go and look out for the eraser. Now, speak about the eraser, if I look out for eraser or I just typed E into my keyword, let's say, for example, that I want to add something else or I don't want to see something into my actual image. So, for example, here I do see the motel. So, I'm going to delete this one like this and automatically it's going to be popping up the generation text bar where I can select this one and I want to tell the computer what do I want to see into this erased part. Now, for example, let's say that I want to see a sky or a background of a neon sent wave like this. Uh, let's say just retro wave style. And the signs should now be removed. In my case, I undo this because I kind of like this. And I want to show you the next thing that we can use into Dali number two, which is actually the add generation frame. So this technology, in my case, that I want to use is to drag this into the middle of my image, let's say like this. And I want to use the this part to generate this new part. And I want to use exactly the same prompt. I want to use, let's say, for example, a neon retro wave. If I hit it to generate, it's going to be using all the elements that appears into what is now inside the image. So it's going to be generating the other side of the generation frame. Now, if I move out into the history section, you could be seeing all the problems that you were generated. So you don't have to worry about if you weren't saved anything because automatically it's going to appear into your own account. So for example, here's going to appear in the image to edit from the original and here's going to be appear in the prompt that you use for your image. For example, the oil painting of a lion and a penguin sunbath on the beach. And here, what I can do if you know how to use Photoshop, you know how to edit your image with another tool, what you can do is to download all the tools that were generated for you and then you can later on add those into your own application. So as you can see, I have all of those images generated for me and I spend of course just one credit to have four different images based on what I was actually looking for. So I have all of these different variations and at the end of the day, I ended up creating something like this. 
Now this part is a little bit different, but this is how I'm going to be showing you something called the add image. Now if I go back into the image that I was creating, let's say for example this one, I'm going to hit into the three dots and I'm going to hit into edit image. If I choose upload an image, it's really really important guys that you choose an image that of course do not have do not have any kind of um, let's say a background so if I choose this image what I want to do is to implement this image into the new generation frame so it's really important guys let's say that you are creating some college so like this and what I want to do is to add a new generation frame and with that being said I can download this image and I can make the computer uh, let's say create some variation of what I was just creating so let's say that I'm gonna hit in here like that, you hit into generate, and the computer is going to be telling that, of course, you need to drag all the elements you just created to create something new. So, at the end of the day, guys, it's really important that you are working into just one project at a time. Because if you are, let's say, for example, creating a, let's say, this image, and you generate something else, you generate some new variations, and at the end of the day, you start creating something different, uh, the actual work that you have created into daily number two is going to be let's say like started from scratch and this is something we don't want to happen you want to just be focusing into just one project at a time so this is why you want to work into one project at a time i want to go into the three dots and here into edit image so whether you choose to generate some variations or to start from scratch from another image you don't want to uh, use different tools with different projects at a time you just want to you just want to constantly start to making variations to add generation frames to erase things that you don't want to see and at the end of the day i'm gonna hit in back here you're gonna be seeing something like this this one actually took me like really a lot of variations a lot of different uh generation images and reference images to create this that is actually accurate i love the style i love the practical the character and the background that appears into my image so uh with that being said guys this is how we can use the generation frames into daily number two it's really important guys that you are using just more than one generation frames now if i go into my history it's going to appear in all the generation files that appears in here so you don't have to worry about if you reload the page and if you didn't see anything at all everything is going to be inside your own uh, application your own actual profile so with that being said guys we have reached now into the very end of the video but hopefully you like this video don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools of daily number two and how you can use generate your own reference images and to get the most out of it so thank you so much for watching the video guys i'll see you on the next video guys see you soon